That's not working. That's not working. This is a really odd lock. These keys are working for it. This is weird. Oh, hi. Um, welcome to day three of this week's Daily Devos. It's Wednesday. And, um, wow. Um, today we're reading Hebrews chapter three. So if you guys haven't read Hebrews chapter three yet, I want you to go away now and read it whilst I try and get in to this door because I know it just seems to be locked already. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, go away now and read to Hebrews chapter three. Go for it. Come on. Oh. It's not working. Okay. Um, well, in Hebrews chapter 3, if God, if God said anything interesting to you, um, I want you to note it down, where you're noting down everything that God is saying to you in Hebrews chapter 3. God said something really interesting to me whilst I was reading Hebrews chapter 3, but to tell you guys, I'm going to need my Bible. Bible. Oh. Hebrews chapter 3, verse 19, says this. So we see that because of people's unbelief, they were not able to enter God's rest. Oh no. You see, this Bible verse is saying that because people didn't believe, they weren't able to enter into what God had for them. They weren't able to be saved. They weren't able to have their sins taken away. As Christians, we have that belief. We have that faith. And that faith is a really special key. That faith is the right key to help us get in to the door. We need that right key. We need that faith. Hi, Abby. I believe this is the key for that door. Did you believe this? This is the key for that door? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. What? Yeah, and, and faith is just like this. Faith is the right key. It's not wow. like any other key. It's not like a normal key. It's like it is just the right key. It is the right key that we need to unlock salvation. It is the key that we need to be saved. So today, I want you to go out and tell one of your friends about Jesus so that maybe they will have the faith, the special key of faith, to unlock the door which they need to. Before I go in here, I am going to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much that you say that all we need to do to be saved is to have faith. We don't need to do anything for it. We just need to have faith which you give us. So God, I pray that as we believe, Father, as we tell our friends about you, you will give them the gift of faith, God, that you, as you give them the gift of faith, they will become Christians and be saved from all of their sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.